For over a thousand days, the sun's enormous power has ravaged the Earth's atmosphere. The unrelenting heat has scorched the Earth's surface, causing cataclysmic storms and calamities such as the world has never seen. Violence, chaos, torment. Now, the sun, the mother of all life, begins the final event by threatening to cast a colossal megaflare that will destroy all of the Earth's creatures. The cremation of the planet is at hand. In deep space, 500,000 kilometers from Earth, on an asteroid called New Trinity, man has created an antimatter bomb. It will be the greatest explosive force in the history of mankind. Looking good, Freddy. How are you feeling? Terrible. The suspension coils need to be reduced to 2.3%. Reduced coils, 2.3. How's that, Freddy? Yes, better. And thank you, Captain. Thank you for what? For always listening to me and taking me seriously. Sometimes I feel that everyone has grown tired of my constant complaints. Hell, they only listen to me because I outrank them. I do thank you for having me programmed to analyze. I recognize my explosive potential, and I am pleased that you are commanding our mission, and for your attention. Goodbye, Captain. We will rendezvous in 38 hours, 13 minutes, 52 seconds. Please mark. Easy does it. Have a safe flight, Freddy. And take good care of yourself, you got that? That's what I do best. United Command Starship USS Helios has arrived. It will shortly begin its journey to the sun. Moving into position. All right, I'm giving it to you straight. I don't give a Martian's ass about anything except the performance of my ship. Now, we're traveling 148,800,000 kilometers on a goddamn modified space buggy that's still untested. Sir, I have been assigned to this ship ever since the command ordered her into emergency service. Now, I can assure you that Helios will perform as programmed. Oh, that's terrific. The project officer gives me her complete assurance. Captain Borg, I'm a biogene. I know the Helios like I know my own heartbeat. We're all specialists. If we couldn't complete this mission, I assure you, sir, we wouldn't even be here. At the odds we're facing, this ship must give us 100% if we're to have a chance to succeed. Just a chance to give old Mother Earth another 10,000 years. All right, Alex, get on with it. Yes, sir. Lieutenant Meeks. This is Bobby. What? <laughs> well, darling, my, my friends, they call me Bobby. For Christ's sake, Meeks. He's just stroking. Sir, engines are fired up and ready to go. Sir, if I may. Accelerometers indicate momentum. Converters are operating at peak dynamic saturation. McBride? Yeah, the Big Bang left New Trinity aboard the cargo ship Chicago. Big Bang? The antimatter bomb. Now, our rendezvous time with the Chicago's now at 
33 hours, 9 minutes. Both navigational systems are locked. Skipper operations are in standby mode. Mission launch will begin at 0600. All right. Navigational coordinates are filed and stand approved by command. One way in, one way out. Mr. Bork. Yes, Dr. Manami. Sir, as you well know, I helped design a raw probe. And I know its limitations. After the explosive is installed in the Ra, and the Helios is in position to launch it, the Ra will need a pilot to guide it to the target area, and I am the most qualified. Like Manami, I don't have the authority to make that decision. Hell, I, I'm just watching the store here. What you're asking is going to be up to the commander of the mission. Yes, sir. I'll speak to Captain Castle. The target area is Region 17. Panami, that's 15 million friggin' degrees. Repent thy sin! Find your salvation! Armageddon is upon us! Face the reality. I'm not going to share your guilt. That's a foolish decision. You may be an authority on meteorology, but you're brain dead when it comes to handling a man like Teague. You're walking on the backs of every suffering human being on this planet. That's a compliment, isn't it? At least I'm moving forward, aren't I? I'm warning you, Dr. Haas. Don't shake the goddamn tree. Tell your Mr. Teague the tree is already dead. In Skytown, the Helios approaches countdown and will be... The chaos in the world continues. IXL will have an economic headlock on the food and fuel resources of every nation on Earth. Henry, you talk as if we had weeks or months. If this starfire theory occurs, what the hell does it matter? Teague is gambling that starfire will never happen. By the time the sun's destructive force recedes and life continues as before, this board of directors will control the most powerful financial base the world's ever seen. While everyone is worried about dying, I excel. Makes a killing. Right now, let's go to Rhonda Hinton, live in Skytown, where the Helios awaits final Easy. countdown to launch. How can you Rhonda? smoke in this heat? In only a few minutes, 16 courageous men and women will be journeying to the sun and the prayers of all of us. In the hope that it will Sit be down, a please. I'm not the emperor. The but goddamn, I'm hoping someday to be. Well, Rhonda, it's Dr. Haas, what are the prognosis? Is that a word? Prognosis? Please run the disc. A consortium of scientists headed by Dr. Griffin and Dr. Pei have determined that starfire is certain. A mega flare explosion will vaporize the Earth's atmosphere and destroy all life. I told them they were mistaken. That fact is, they are not mistaken. I discovered that my staff and I have miscalculated. The Starfire theory is correct. It is imperative that we support the Helios expedition. It is possible that this antimatter device, a bomb, could divert the mega flare away from Earth and into space. A large solar flare will take place within 48 hours. Dr. Haas, are you absolutely convinced that this catastrophe will happen? There seems to be no question. Dr. Haas, doesn't it appear the sunspot group is merging? If you look at the Fraunhofer lines, you'd notice that... Is the... that your expert conclusion? Well, I don't call myself an expert, but I do have That's eyes. right, Dr. Beeson. You are not an expert. <laughs> Dr. Beeson here doesn't agree with my calculation. She, along with a diminishing minority <laughs> of scientists. They are wrong, and I am right. And what if you're wrong? 
Dr. Haas? Well, I excel, invest in the future, an optimistic future. And I refuse to believe that a mega flare, or even God himself for that matter, is going to end it. That's not the way I see it. I see it in terms of the status quo. Yes, sir, I believe the board sees it exactly that way. Thank you, gentlemen. Dr. Haas, uh, sorry I have to run. They keep me on a very tight schedule. Call me if there are any new developments. We must abort this Ra expedition. Mr. Teague, the expedition will be taken care of. Jesus. They're charting over 200 knot winds down there. Damn it. There's so much electromagnetic interference. Communications are almost impossible. What about the optical receivers? Oh. They're acceptable, but I am having a hell of a time decoding. Shuttle's in from New Trinity. Is Kelso aboard? Yeah, yeah. Is he on the money? Look, as far as I'm concerned, he can cut it as commander. I mean, I haven't seen him for years, but we used to have a few drinks, a few laughs, a few arguments. We used to be friends. Friends? Yeah, we started in the service together. We flew some missions, and then his wife died. Things changed. Now he's a top dog. Hell, who knows why anything changes? Let's put it this way. That cutting edge between them was competition. It just took off in the wrong direction. Come on, you know where I come from. You buddy up and you give your new friends a great big old hug and let them know how you feel. Come here. How's that? Good. Good? How about if I squeeze you tighter? Well, I suppose you'll all be wanting friendship. Bobby, I think the lady's got the idea. Yeah. Sorry. Alex, out there, our only security blanket is each other. We all have needs. I just want you to know that we will care about you. Captain Kelso? Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Alex Knoll. Oh, Captain Kelso, I'm um, Steve Kelso. Hi. Hi. I just thought I should introduce myself since we're going to be working together. Oh. Yes. Oh, Alex Knopf? Right. Sure, Alex. Of course, command sent me your emergency report. You handled it very well. Well, thank you, sir. Every system has been monitored and personally verified. Now, my procedure will include all personnel, both physically and psychologically. Psychologically? Well, a psychological study of the ship's personnel under stress conditions will prove very beneficial. Lady, that's nonsense. Did I say something inappropriate? No, just not too realistic. I thought I was being very realistic. Maybe it was a poor choice of words. Yes, it was. Now, your executive officer, Captain Borg, has called a navigational sequence in 1,600 hours. Will there be any more questions? No. No? Nice to have you aboard, Commander. Captain Kelso reporting his orders, sir. Knock it off. Hey, you really look lousy. Are you working out at all? Well, I have been on New Trinity for the past three months, working with enough antimatter to destroy the Earth and the Moon along with it. I figured I'd I let it wait. I didn't want you out there in the first Dad, place. why do you, you immediately... You volunteered. You volunteered. Just like you volunteered for that crazy suicide mission to the sun. It is not you a suicide mission. so goddamn hard to convince everyone you're not protected by your old man. You, Look, do you're going to get yourself killed. You know that? All over again? What am I going to tell your son, huh? What am I going to say to him? I tried to get him up here. I, I couldn't get the call through. So meanwhile, he ran away from that stupid military academy I told you not to send him to in the first place. Wait a minute. 
Is he okay? Have you heard from him? I just told you, he, he's AWOL. Now, don't blame the boy. Don't, don't blame him. I probably would have done the same thing. I just had it in my head to take a dropship down and find him myself. Dad, you're not going to do that. I can do anything I want to. I'm the Admiral. I've got to get over to the soul lab. I'm late. Hold it, damn it! You tell me you love me before you leave this room. I love you. I love you too. Starfire scenario is on threshold. I don't have to tell you what those at home are facing. If this monster sun flare reaches the Mercury orbit, the Earth's surface would become glass-like. Estimated deaths, 50%. If this monster flare reaches the Venus orbit, the Earth's surface would become magma. Estimated deaths, 90%. 90% of human life. And if this megalo flare reaches the Earth, complete destruction. Alex. And these magnetic tubes are like elastic bands stretched beyond a threshold. They snap, causing a solar flare. Now, this tube, as you can see, is giant and wound much more tightly than any before. And if it snaps... This is the region we need to penetrate. Region 17. This is where we will prematurely trigger the flare on the far side of the sun. The Helios and the Ra are both protected from the sun's heat by electromagnetic barriers using the superconductive coils. It's gonna be damn hot. We won't burn up, though. The barriers will work. As you were. Now, we don't have much time. Originally, the Helios was to travel to New Trinity, where we would load our antimatter device into the probe bra and then proceed to the sun once in orbit, trigger the flare in region 17, and then home free. Good Lord willing. To save time, Space Barge Chicago is going to carry our bomb to meet us en route. We will we'll rendezvous with the Chicago here and then onto the sun. With five tons of antimatter. A miracle. Now, for the bad news. Since we haven't completed testing the guidance system on the probe, and we don't know what the electromagnetic interference is going to do, can't afford sending it into the sun without human backup. Originally, the probe was built with a pilot seat. We were hoping we would never have to use it. But we cannot risk a malfunction or a computer error. So one of us is going to have to pilot the raw. OK, loading process begins as of now. Good luck.
Winning what, sir? Baseball! Dodgers? How long does it take this thing to fill back up? Are you shitting me? <laughs> oh, I knew it! I knew this kick ass! I knew it! <laughs> I'm Mike Kelso, sir. Hear that note? A lot of them, sir. A lot of notes out there, kid. You gotta find the one you like and grab onto it. Makes sense. Sir, you requested a list of all personnel who can pilot the Ra. Alex, is your name on the list? Yes, sir. There are five of us, including you. Sir, I think I should be at my station. Ra alignment looks good. Inertia stabilized in full auto. 30 meters. Docking system switching from sky tower control to helios control on my mark. Mark. Handoff acknowledged. Initiate terminal docking sequence. Helios docking coupler screen. We'll switch to external power upon hookup. That's affirmative. That's 15. Now good. Inertial stabilizer is drifting. Confirm and correct. Confirm to helios. Slow her down to 78. Confirmed. Looking nice and center. Let's keep bringing her on in. Pads open and ready. And we have a marriage. Helios, we have a major problem here. Confirmed. Emergency Christ. What the hell are you doing? 
What happened? Outside fuel line ruptured. I want a damage report. Captain, Captain, Captain we have a jam up on system three. Uh, what's going on up there? Problem's not up here. Losing pressure. Uh, Try a system bypass. That's not it. It's internal. I think we need to open this thing up. We lose her. We lose the mission. We lose everything. For more increased magnification. Since you're his son. Dropship Drop deployment. deployment. Prepare for hatch closure and depressurization. Please clear the docking area. Caution. Dropship. Yeah, what the hell do you think you're doing? Going down to find your son, damn it. There is already an army down there searching for it. Going after my son. Now get the hell out! You thought about the boy once in a while, gave him a little of your time. Thought about him? I have done nothing but think about him. I don't know if you have noticed lately with all that's going on, but I am under a lot of pressure. Now, have you noticed that, huh? Come on, what the hell can he say that to me? He's talking about my son. Loud, I think I'm saving my life. <laughs> and I know when I go flying solo and free, I can touch the stars up high, flying high and free. Sir, I just huh? wanted to thank you. I just wanted to thank you for helping me out. Ah, flying high and free with the earth and sea. No, sir. That's an old one. <laughs> oh, hey. Sir, it'd be a lot easier if I knew your name. Yeah. And I know they can't wear me down. How I love to retreat from my home on the ground and fly close to the you water. You are in violation. Clear the highway. You are in violation. Clear the highway. Hang on! That's it. Well, we got a patch? Yep, I got a patch. I just don't got any air. <sighs> hey, sir! <laughs> we got somebody coming! There's a truck headed this way, sir! You are in violation. Clear the highway. You are in violation. Clear the highway. Those things won't stop for nothing. Unless... Unless something stands in its path, and then I think... that they're programmed to stop, I think. Look, look, look! Hey, look! You are in violation! Sir! Clear the highway!
Sorry about your bike, sir. Maybe they only stop for living people. You know, that's something we don't want to find out. I mean, those things go from point A to point Z, and that's all they know. Oh, great, here comes another one. I'd say your way was a hell of a lot better. Where did this creation happen? In a laboratory. In Oxford, England. Mother? Unknown. Well, what about the baby maker? You know, the old man. Sorry, also unknown. I was fertilized in a test tube. All right, let's hop to it. We're about to fly into Abraham's bosom. This whole galaxy is heaven to you. You call it heaven? Yeah, my mom told me that Heaven feeds the stars. Did you know that? No. When you're out there, it's staggering. It's timeless, ageless. Maybe it's even eternal. There's only one problem. While the captain's busy storming the gates of heaven, the rest of us are headed straight to hell. being flown in. Millions of dollars have been donated from public and private sources. The death toll here is in the hundreds of thousands. Mr. Teague's office? Claire, you wouldn't believe the view. Mark coordinates 4, 5, 
12, 9, 12, 1, and 8. Nexus. Biogene now coded Delilah. Tell Mr. Teague you can play her like a piano. Too bad, Delilah. I'm the only one that can ever free you. Initiate the RCS and give me an immediate scan rate. Long T. Chicago. We'll toss it. Use the backup sequencer. Rendezvous point set at vector zero five point zero zero seven. Your environmental are in phase. Sixteen to internal power, sir. Leaving just the bow connectors. Okay, Helios. We have Doc and Connor disengaged. Navigational panels have been calibrated. All lights are green. Engines powering up to standby. Squibs armed and ready. Go for internal power. Helios got to our control. Separation is complete. Power connect is disengaged and she's free as a bird. The systems are positive. Meeks, I need a straight up reading. Roger TC, we're online. We reach max in 21 seconds. TC, did I ever tell you I'm mad about you? I know you, Meeks. All you want to do is chew face. You needed some help. Get a medic. You look. Look to what? What's your sudden emergency, as you put it? Our, uh... Thank you. Our beautiful Dr. Beeson here... tells me there's a strong possibility the Ra mission might actually succeed. Does she? Are you Teague's personal advisor now, too, Claire? Not really. I'm pleading with you. The raw mission is our only chance for survival. Dr. Haas, I, my company invests in the future. I've invested my ass in food, seeds, water. I've invested my ass in you. Teague, I'm begging you. There's no doubt that Starfire will happen. The raw mission, even though the risk factor is enormous, it can succeed. Oh, it won't succeed. I've made sure of it. I wasn't going to tell you anything, but when Claire unwittingly spilled the beans, it would be a mistake to think that anything would just slip by you. 
You're committing murder against the whole world. I'm warning you. I won't be quiet. I won't. Dig! We're running out of time! It's murder! Hey! Hey, what are you doing? No! Hey! Dig! Please! No! Dig! No, I'll die out here! Dig! I like the way you call me, sir. Uh, there's a kind of a majestic ring to it. So what do you do? I'm a creator. My name is Travis. Travis. I... Ah! I know that it starts with an R. Uh, it's kind of a, a really simple, like Brian or Randy. Rob, 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 Rob. Good to see you again, sir. Commander, I don't believe what they just told me. You still haven't found it. Well, that's correct, sir, but we... No buts. I want five choppers out at all times. I want a virtual for me personally, and I want you to report sir, every... They found his chopper charred in the middle of Gila Flat. We've had violent sandstorms, sir, and well, the chances of him surviving that kind of heat, those conditions, they're just... How do you know it's his chopper? Do they have nameplates on those things? No, they do not. I'm sorry. Commander, sir. I want you... I want you to... comb that desert till you find him. problem in the engine coolant turbo. The bleed valves are jammed open and they're they're dumping coolant into the ionization chamber. Now, I tried to equalize the damn thing, but get Alex on it. She's on it. Still can't figure it out. Emergency cooling status. We're in trouble down here. We got a radiation leak in the UK. Sir, how's it looking? 
It's bad. We've got coolant leaking into the ionization chamber. It's causing a buildup of pressure, sir. If we don't equalize within 10, 15 minutes, one of those engines is going to slow a whole side of a burn tone from the rear of this ship. Well, don't tell me what might happen. I know what might happen. Give me a solution. What if we shut off the turbo pumps? No, no, no. We <laughs> overheat in seconds again. The tanks would burst and... Sayonara. Get a man suited up. Get him out there. We'll fix it manually. That would be a dead man, sir. Once the pressure equalizes, the buildup of plasma and coolant will trigger an explosion. Whoever's out there is going to get killed, fried. Well, what do you suggest, Commander? Give me an alternative. Okay, Captain. Which one? It's your pick. All crew evacuate lower engineering level. Emergency. Radiation level in engineering bay unacceptable for human maintenance operations. Thermal levels exceed design limits. Correct and verify. Shit, I'll Correct do it. Correct and verify. No way, we need you here. Somebody else. Lieutenant Meeks. Yes, sir. Listen to me, Meeks. Everyone dies. Everyone's soul goes someplace. I'll tell you one thing, yours is going straight to heaven non-stop, you hear me? Okay. Now, try not to look directly into the engine ports. Gotta move quickly. The radiation... I wish it was another way, Meeks. Hey. Maybe I'll make it. All right, Lieutenant, get ready for depressurization. Clear airlock for depressurization. Let's go, Terrence. Tunnel access hatch Pressurization equal. See you once it gets through. You okay, buddy? I'm sorry. Okay, Meeks, engine access panels disengaged. You should have a clear shot through. What could have caused this?
There's a problem, Captain. The isolator valve is wide open. Meeks, we got a frozen isolator valve. Isolator valve's frozen. It's not stuck. It's on lock hold. What? Cut it! back to normal, sir. Believe that. Help me. Okay, Thompson, take your unit to the back side. Sir, we've contacted his friends. We talked to Beddington. We heard he might have gone, probably went AWOL. We're doing everything. No, he didn't go AWOL. Well, of course not, sir. That's not the way it's going to look. We're That's going not to... what I mean. With me. First time I heard about those damn solar flares, I thought, get him up to Skytown where I can keep an eye on him. Call the school, have him send him up. No, oh, no, he said. Dad wouldn't like that. I'd, I'd have to go AWOL. Okay, I told him, you do that. It's what I would have done. And he did. He's my grandson. He's just a kid. Now, my son's flying into that inferno, that 
bloody suicide mission, I... I could have ordered him off that. I could have, but I didn't. Now maybe I lost them both. Gurney, get away from here a minute, will you? Sir. We'll find him for you. I promise. Needle knows one. We're gonna need some daylight sprayed on Q2. Why don't you boys give us a hand, Danny? Hiding has broken out in Casablanca after a demonstration of the IFD. Tupic states that he doesn't want to see any more violence and has alerted the military. Two ice waters. Please. Can I get mine with lemon? If you got it. Don't have any lemon. It's two fifty, including tip. Large families of locusts have been migrating through Atchison, Kansas, devouring all vegetation that stands in their path. Exterminating squads are at the scene. Rioters have been flooding the downtown streets of Tokyo in an uproar, setting fires, leaving behind a trail of badly beaten bodies. Riot squads have been fighting hard, trying to suppress the violence, but with little to no avail. Six to seven hundred miles an hour, three times the average. Death the way I think. This solar crisis has brought the whole world together. And if this mission succeeds, which of course it will, imagine what the world's going to be like. The United World. Travis? You okay? Don't cry. I've got to tell somebody. Please, help. Point locked in and go. Freddy's giving us a green light, sir. Okay, bring him on in. All systems. Reduce containment vectors 2.7 degrees left. Suspension coils nearing the end of travel and should also be lowered. 3.14 to be precise. Spider zero two, ready to hand off for manipulator. Tug zero one, stand with port side. Give me a visual. Spider tug operations in auto control. Roger O2, grapple fixtures are clear. Permission to come aboard, sir. Permission granted, ready. External power. External power. Three. Uh, central, two, actually, one, alpha. Ten meters to die. We have a lock. Secure all doors. That's affirmative. Security ID clearance code BW 900 648 Able 4. 
Recognize. Enter voice sample. Alex Snoff, Biogenetically Enhanced Human, Project Officer, United Command Helios. Alex Snoff, recognize. Shall I process your entire file? No, Freddy, that won't be necessary. I find we're a lot alike, aren't we, Alex? Alike? No, Freddy, you're wrong. We're not alike at all. Red Sands, eh? What do you guys want to go there for? Skytown. My friend's the one that's going there. No shit, space. All right. But you know, this baby only holds two. <laughs> Sounds great. Thanks, man. You went to the Academy, Biddington. Yes, sir. I was a cadet. Last one, I'm in the house. I can't the head. The head of it. Only a escape route. Remigium interfregatable. But, but, but that's crazy. Who, who would want to do that? Dick. What'd he say? Hey, Dick. Hey. hey. Let's go. I'm, I'm sorry about this. I found somebody to take in a red science. You don't rob a dying man. I'm gonna try and notify somebody he knows. Dr. Gunter Haas, IXL Corp. Trap, trap! Yeah. The guy in there. He told me something. What did he tell you? He spoke Latin to me. He said that some guy named Teague from IXL was trying to sabotage the Helios mission. No kidding. Wow. Ooh. Vaya con Dios, friend. Where are you going to go now? Oh, there's a beautiful note out there. I can hear it. I'm going to reach out and grab it while I'm still young and... <laughs> And the chicks dig me. <laughs> ah. Students, there's a message coming through for you. It's a lead and it seems valid. Sunstroke, pretty bad. Oh, is he sleeping now? He's dead now. Oh. Um, I'm the one that called you. I didn't know what else to do. I mean, there's no doctors here. And when did you find him? Um, they brought him in from the desert. And he was shaking really bad. He was delirious. He spoke to this kid wearing um, a uniform. You know one of those military school uniforms? What did he say to the kid? Well, I, I couldn't tell, because they were speaking in a different language. The cadet, where did he go? Well, I don't know. I mean, he came in with that old man. He was there just a second ago.
can I help you? We're looking for that kid you were hanging out with. Oh! Yeah, I, I just met him at the bar. I never did catch his name. <laughs> Maybe I... Maybe I just didn't ask. <laughs> Sure. We were hoping you did. Ah! Kid, what the hell was that? What are you guys crazy? You almost killed us here. What, what's going on here? Oh. <laughs> now, soldier boy. You tell me every word that fool Haas told you. Hello, Freddy. Hello, Dr. Manami. We're gonna run through a quick system check. Are you set? Yes, sir. Good. Did you know I only had 10 annihilation events during the loading? They had the suspension coils set too high, but I told them to decrease their bandwidth. Oh, that was smart of you, Freddy. Yes, I feel that it was, Dr. Manami. I don't think that people really understand how sensitive I am. They think that I complain too much. I can hear them bantering. I have good ears. Do you think they're right? Do you think that I complain too much, Dr. Manami? No, no. Not at all, Freddy. I wish that I was a ranked officer. Then I would be taken more seriously. Oh, no. People do take you seriously, Freddy. Okay, but I tell you what. I'll put in a good word with the captain. Have him make you an, an, an ensign. Or better yet, a lieutenant. Oh, that would be wonderful. A lieutenant. Good. Manami? Hi, Alex. Hi, Freddy. Hello, Alex. Listen, my computer card's all messed up. I don't know what's wrong with it. Do you mind if I borrow yours? Oh, sure. But just get it back to me when you're through. Alex, did you know that Dr. Manami is going to see to it that I become a ranked officer? Well, that would be very nice for you, Freddy. In a short while, it won't make any difference. It matters to me. I'm told I'm to be a hero. Isn't that true, Dr. Manami? Yes, Freddy. We'll both be heroes. Lieutenant! Zero, zero, one, four, seven, four, seven, yes, sir. Right? Well, I don't know if it was Beddington or not. What I do know is that it was one of those cute little military school uniforms. Did he say where he was going? I don't know. He, he was hanging out with this old guy. The old guy? Is this the one who died? No, it was this other guy. He had white hair and he had a face like rotten leather. I mean, what's the big commotion with this kid, anyway? I mean, you know, this is the second time that I've been through this the question. The second and time? I... When was the first? Well, these corporate types came in, and they were asking the same questions. Corporate like... types? Yeah, like from one of those big companies. Something with letters. IXL Corporation? Yeah, and they took you to Wallet. You find out about that much. Everything. Uh, and that uh, that guy, the, the one that wrote the book. T. T, yeah. Arnold T. He runs Tee, the company. <laughs> Can I go now, sir? Yes, thank you very much. Are you all right, sir? Yeah, um, you go ahead. I'll be right with you. Give me a scratch, please, straight up. Sir, do you think you should? No, I shouldn't. Yes, sir. Corporal, let's get these men out of here. 
That's okay. Well, uh, Thanks. Excuse me. I like your hat. Step aside, Take son. Take it off. I don't think so. about the raw mission. We didn't hear you. Concentrate on living. Can you do that? Huh? Travis? Tell me what your last name is. Can you remember? Huh? Richards. Travis. Jay. James Richards. Sir. Monitors show proton flux levels at counter saturation. Region 17 is showing accelerated merging. We will care about you. Care about you. Care about you. I think we just blew an oxygen tank. Captain, we need you down here immediately. Coming. Over pressure What's the problem? Shit's the goddamn problem! Nothing works! Nothing! on the port engine. What's the damage? There's no access. Emergency bypass valves are jammed. Then blow the sons of bitches apart. Just give me an answer. 
Captain, how bad is it? Well, I mean, why don't you tell me? How the hell am I supposed to know that? It's bad, okay? It's real bad. Harvard, how long to come up with a printout of the crew's security IDs which have accessed, altered, or reprogrammed systems in the last 24 hours? Why? What do you... Look, I asked you a question, Lieutenant. How long? It could take a while. Do it. Sure. Captain, the tanks what? are back on. We lost 63% of the oxygen. That's not enough to get us back home. Well, then I guess we don't go home, do we, Lamar? Why are you trying to sabotage the Helios expedition? That's what Haas told you, huh? I'll tell you why. Because the world isn't going to be engulfed in flames. And I don't think it's right to mess around with nature anyway. You ever read Nostradamus? Several things are supposed to occur first. Yeah, if I recall. One is that the Antichrist will walk the face of the planet. Only thing is, he doesn't walk. He flies high above him for it all, so he doesn't have to witness the suffering at eye level. My dad told me one thing that I'll never forget. He said that you can be as smart and as brilliant as you like. But never let your ambitions grow bigger than your heart. Sounds like a good man. He is. Only the way you've arranged things, I'll never get to see him again. Right. Son of a bitch is cornered just about everything edible on Earth. Meat, fish, grain, stockpiled up to his ass. It's not against the law, Admiral, for a corporation or an individual to invest in futures. <sighs> futures. Where is he? Could be anywhere. He's an extremely busy man. How would you get hold of him? He carries a portable phone, but that doesn't tell me where he is. Set up a tracker. Can you give me a fix on that portable phone, son? I can do that, sir. Good. Scientists. The world's full of experts and scientists who say God has spoken through them. One thing I've learned, no one knows anything. All their theories change like the tide. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. I'm not that predictable. Water, water, everywhere. Kill the kid. yourself, kid.
dies a thousand deaths. said the same thing. Back off. I don't want to shoot you. You don't have a choice. This is Helios. Do you read me? Skytown, this is Helios. Do you copy? Keep on it. Give these instruments a hand job if it would help me get through, but it won't. And damn it, I need a damage report on the aft thrusters. We're working on it. Well, that is not good enough. Kelso, get out of my face. We're working on it. I'm handling it. No, no, no. Forget that. Listen to me. It is vital you get that message to Helios. Repeat. Vital you... This is Admiral Kelso. Kelso, Admiral Kelso. Who am I talking to? Avery, sir. We're trying to get the message through. All we're getting is static. Too many ions bouncing around out there. They're just too close, sir. Keep trying, son. Yes, sir. Keep trying. This speed, we're gonna crawl right into that solar flare. Borg may be hurt, but he sure as hell isn't dead. Sir, something's coming through. Must be a code. All I can make out is... Delilah. What or who in God's name is Delilah? We're hours behind schedule. If we don't kick this junker in the ass, Earth is history. Hey, well, why don't you get your ass behind it and push? Alex, that is unavailable power. Alex! We're rerouting. Well, how long? I don't know. You don't know? Well, what the hell you think is going to keep this damn ship together when we do get it? Sure, hold. Sure, hold. says rain. Good news for the farmers. Oh, oh. Don't waste it. It's a damn hologram. Sir, they got a fix on him. He just took off in his virtual. I'm on your tracker. I want confirmation. Destroy him.
Yeah. Harvard. Sir, tell me whose security card this number belongs to. Delta Tango 9800-17 Kilo Lima dash UNSF. Ken Minami, sir. Minami? Boy, that doesn't make any sense. Captain, we're approaching critical orbit. All right, TC, call down there. I want Minami pulled off the RAW immediately. Do it. But if he doesn't pilot the RAW, then who does? Cancel my detonation. Manual detonation, T minus six minutes and counting. Ready? You're my friend. Stop it. been a true friend. Help me. Help me. Next air. Next air. Delilah. Delilah. Free. Free. Next air. Next air. Delilah. 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 several systems back up, but I can't seem to get into any of them. Some sort of Man, bullshit code won't allow me inside. Can you break the code?
Man, we won't even go home in body bags. McBride! Now look! Everyone get their shit together! That's an order! something, sir. I think we just might have it. Manual detonation, T minus two minutes, 20 seconds, and counting. Backup systems accessed. Please verify security signature code with authorized voice sample. This is Lieutenant Gordon, Harvard Clark. This is the way my voice sounds. Mark, two minutes, and counting. God help us. Come on, come on. Suck it up. Harvard! Can we enter new voice IDs? Sir, we keep getting the same thing every time we try. Unrecognized. There's only two people on this ship. Freddy will respond to in this type of situation. Ken Minami and Alex Doff, and both of them are out of commission. I don't have any ideas left. Harvard, find pre-recorded tapes on either Alex or Minami. Maybe we can trick the computer. Do you copy? Where would I find pre-recorded tapes? Alex's bio. There's a voice sample on Alex's bio. Do you copy? Manual destination, T minus one minute and counting. Backup systems accessed. Please verify security signature code with authorized voice sample. Alex, Biogen has been hard to live. Fertilization date, May the 1st, 2025. Recognized Alex Knopf. Pre-recorded sample. Please verify with live voice sample. Manual detonation, T minus 30 seconds and counting. Sir, who? Who's the pilot? Harvard. How much oxygen do we have left? We're at 31%. Enough to get us a third of the way. All right, now listen to me carefully. Shut down all non-essential systems. Set up a rendezvous with the Chicago. They will get you home. Yes, sir. If this ship blows. 
those, at least I'll have the satisfaction of watching this come out by the roots. Oh. Out of here. Decision has been made. I can't trust you. I don't understand it. I don't understand why I didn't see it. Look, I tried to tell you. You have to believe that. Look, please try to understand that for some insane reason, somebody or something wanted us to fail. Damn it, Alex. People are dead because of you. What the hell's going on inside your crazy head? I was programmed to. I don't know the reasons. You would have murdered all of us. I never knew that I could feel such sorrow. Such shame. Or that I could feel about any man the way I feel about you, Steve. I could never lie to you. Please let me pilot the raw. Let my life mean something. Impossible. One minute to target. It is possible. <laughs> Captain, hello, sir. Do you read? Crew to emergency stations. Caution. Maintenance operation in cargo bay area now terminated in preparation for cargo bay door Forgive opening. Forgive me. Cargo bay area cleared and pressurized. Crew to emergency stations. Strength, 20%. Alex, you have systems go. Photosphere temperature, 6,420 degrees and climbing. Deactivated. She could see what I'm seeing. Describe it to me.
Take us home.